So welcome to the dinner meal prep, which is going to be more seafoody, and I love seafood, obviously being Bengali. So we're gonna start off with a full tray, and we're just gonna spray it with some to just keep it greased. Now I've bought these bassa fillets from Aldi, and they're so cheap and so delicious. Here, I've also got some lemon slices and frozen pepper. And the frozen pepper I've bought from Iceland and it was literally a pound for a huge bag of chopped up pepper. So really minimal work and super cheap. So just wedge these lemons in between the bassa fillets. So once you've done that, this is not the cooking, we're gonna prepare the dressing or the, you know, the flavor part of the fish. So you're gonna pour in about a teaspoon of sea salt. Not too much, because fish doesn't taste good when it's salty. About a teaspoon of garlic. A teaspoon of onion granules, because I really wanna just save on time here. Some chili flakes with garlic or just plain chili flakes. It's just enough to satiate your chili hunger. I just put about one and a half tablespoons of olive oil. And you just mix this together. Next, you're gonna add about um, two tablespoons of lemon juice. Freshly squeezed is an option, but you know, it's up to you. Then just add about a teaspoon of black pepper and of course, loads of parsley, dried parsley. So I've got about a teaspoon in there. So it's gonna end up looking a bit like this, a bit grimy looking, but believe me, it tastes so good and so fresh. So now on your fish, you're just gonna drizzle all of this goodness all over. I think with fish, it's nicer to have a subtle taste um, of seasoning because sometimes when you overpower it, it doesn't taste as good. So now you just get some fresh parsley and you just put it on top. And for the vegetables, I just use any spice mix that I have that I like on vegetables. Um, so I got this one from the range and I'm gonna use a, the lemon and herb one just to match the tone of the fish. And just sprinkle that over the pepper. And that's gonna be ready to cook. And you put it in the oven for about 15 to 22 minutes. It depends on your oven um, and how quickly the fish cooks. So check that 15 minutes. If you see that it's cooked quite well done, then you take it out. If it's not, just keep it in and check it every two minutes until 22 minutes. At 22 minutes, it should definitely, definitely be done. So this is after it's come out of the oven. Now it's very um, soft and flaky. I don't want to overcook it. I cooked mine for 18 minutes at 180 degrees and they were well defrosted and um, quite fresh to cook with. As you can see, it looks really good. So for dinner, I don't like going too heavy and I usually just do a side of vegetables. I drizzle a tiny bit of olive oil into the pan. Then add some chopped garlic, let that cook. I'm gonna add some of that lemon and herb seasoning that we added on the peppers in the fish dish. And then you're just gonna topple in your green beans. And just let that cook for a few minutes. You want them still a bit crispy, but you wanna see the color of the green kind of become a bit more vibrant. So guys, this is the final product of the base of the bassa fillets and you can serve them with green beans and tomatoes. Um, I've also served them in different ways, like different grains, so you can use things like quinoa, 
rice, couscous, bulgur wheat, all sorts um, as a base to a dish. So any kind of salads, etc. Or even with uh, things like bread, like sourdough bread as I've used here. Please comment, like and subscribe for more videos like this. I'm so excited to put up more meal prep videos because I know how important it is to have healthier meals throughout the week, especially if you're working or if you're trying to just achieve a healthier life. Have a good day. Bye.